You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Vintage Collection action figure review. Now last week I got the Jabba the Hutt uh, action playset, did a nice little overview of that and how I set it up. Um, I did promise I would do a review on the 88, so that is what we're doing today, VC325. Yeah, I think yeah, a lot of people were sort of bummed that this one wasn't going to come out into the, uh, into the line on his own. Um, but yeah, would he have sold well on the pegs? That's the question. Maybe to the uh, maybe to the diehards, but um, for a casual collector, um, you know, maybe it's not that appealing. Um, so yeah, a pack in with with a playset like that is is fine. Um, if you want it bad enough, you'll get it. So it's it's pretty cool. And um, you know, I think the big bummer that a lot of fans had with this figure is that yeah, missed out on some articulation opportunities with with the arms the elbows um because yeah he, he does have a little bit of movement to be able to hold the hold the thing <laughs> the torture thing um but yeah oh let's bust him open and uh we'll talk more about 8d8 all right folks here is 8d8 in all his sassy goodness um <laughs> yeah he looks cool yeah, not a lot to it. Uh, pretty sort of simple, simple figure for the most part. I mean, it's, it seems to be all new to me. So they haven't needed to go and, you know, they haven't used any old parts from old figures. So I can, I can respect that. Um, yeah, I normally go through accessories and stuff. Like he doesn't come with any accessories, so we're just going to roll with it. Um... Yeah, paint applications are nice and clean though. Um, there's sort of the silver for all his joints and hands and stuff like that. I like the sort of the grid sort of bit in the middle there of his chest. Some nice details. I even like there's that sort of wheel around there at his waist. A little bit of sort of dirtiness to that. It looks good. He's got Awesome strong hips. It's the Shakira droid. Hips don't lie. Okay, that was bad. Yeah, the little markings like the reds and the yellows. They look good. Look into those eyes. Yeah, he's pretty terrifying. Or is he smiling? I don't know. <laughs> Got a little bronze sort of bits of paint up there on the head on those sort of side panels. So down the legs, they get a little bit dirtier as they get down to the feet. Sort of the piston joints on the inside of the legs there. Not too bad. Like I said, it's it's just kind of a skinny little figure. Like there's not a whole lot going down there. So again, to pay retail for this guy on a single card at retail, probably not. Probably not worth your money. Whereas, you know, included as basically an accessory that you can also have as a carded item if you're a carded collector. Perfect. Perfect. Articulation-wise, he has... A ball and socket in the head. The ball and socket at the base of the neck. It's kind of limited movement there, so it's, it does what it needs to do. Uh, the swivels here on the elbows, or shoulders, sorry. This is fine. Yeah, some elbows would be nice, but again, he is quite small. It's not a lot to him. I think you'd be sacrificing accuracy for you know giving him some chonky arms um there is a swivel there at that sort of dirty wheel there swivels at the legs there 
and there is a hinge on the feet so that's kind of cool you can get him you can get four of these in a row you could almost do the the abbey road abbey road walk across <laughs> But hey, I'm happy with this guy. I think he looks good and perfect as a, almost as a bonus figure, as an accessory. But yeah, I don't think he'd necessarily do too well on a single card out there in the, out there in the wild. Just to compare, I have the, uh, the old Power of the Force one here. I'll leave a link at the end of the video so you can have a closer look at him. So definitely go on for more detail, more accurate, sort of looking sculpt. Which is nice. But again, this one, this Power of the Force one, still holds up for me. And it's mainly because of the, uh, the torture rack that he comes with. Which is just cool. Was, yeah, appreciate that. Put this guy on a Return of the Jedi card. But yeah, definitely, definitely more akin to his, his showing in um, Book of Boba Fett. Um, I, again, I would do a peg test as well, but he has no f feet pegs. So, I can't do that either. They've really left me high and dry. No, <laughs> it's, it's fine, like I said. I know there wasn't a lot to this figure, but I still wanted to do a little, uh, do a clip on it, do a little video on it. Uh, it's not a long one, but I appreciate you all sticking around and, and checking it out. We'll go stand proudly with, with Boba Fett, Lord Fett on his throne. And this guy will go back in the torch chamber where he belongs. So I appreciate you sticking around and hanging out. Give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. S subscribe if you're new, if I can try and talk properly. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, appreciate you tuning in. We'll check you out next time. Until then, may the force be with you always. We would be honored if you would join us.